What is going on guys? Victor here and today I'm at the inlet with Babe. One of my favorite spots to fish during the mullet runs. It's a very productive place. You catch redfish, snook. We fished all night last night and I'm talking we fished hard and only had one redfish to, sh to show for it. We fished the morning bite. Some guy caught one really big red fish, which you guys will see later on. We're hoping our luck's gonna change. What do you think? I hope we catch some slot. Slot snook, slot, re slot red. Do some catching cooks for you guys. Last time we were here, Brooke got a big upper slot red fish, and man, do I want to catch a red fish, because it was so good. I'm telling you, one of my favorite fish dishes I've ever had. Honestly, I think one of my new favorite recipes, it was great. So let's try to get one. There's that slot red. Here we go. You think it's a slot red? Or a red? Over? Yeah? Slots don't brawl. Chris Lowe with his infamous mustache. All right guys, so this is the first fish of the day. I'm gonna go get your net. Are you That's kidding me? Yeah, what happened, Chris? Oh boy, you're gonna lose him in the piling? Funny looking redfish, I'd say. That's a big red. That's a good size one. That's a non That's one that did carry around. Yeah? Migatory ones have a crescent. Dude, that's a fatty. That's a big old red. How much? Yeah, that's 30 pounds. Damn. Oh yeah, good size one. That's the biggest one I've seen in a while. Yeah, that's a brute. Okay, maybe four. Woo! Okay, at least my net's getting some action. You want a picture of it or anything, or just let it go? Shh, not that long. It was thick. Oh, fat. Real fat. I love it. He's so short, though. That is. So what are you saying, that the square tail? Yeah, they got a squared off edge. It's a non-migratory fish. The migratory ones have more of a crescent shape to it. And they're longer and leaner. The fish looks like it came out of lagoon. It's pretty bright too. Our buddy over here has got himself a seaweed monster. We can't flip it, so we gotta net it. Oh yeah, it weighs a lot. Oh, we got the seaweed monster! Very catch good. of the day! God. You know what, I gotta say, that's probably the biggest clump of seaweed I've seen anyone ever catch. <laughs> You're wearing the merch, so make me proud. Don't make us look bad. Thrown into the wind with a net ruined by Jesse. That guy just netted some. Pretty frisky. Hey! Don't, let's just pick them out one by one. for them rocks. Yes. That's a red, that's a red. Nice. <laughs> Flipping? Hey, it's a pretty orange one too. Yeah, he is. Hey, okay. Underneath everyone. Underneath them, underneath them. You let her under? Let her under? No, good, 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 good. Come on, push them under, pull them under. Good job. 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 Good job.
Yeah, probably. Drop him. Fair fishing, bro. Why are you under you? Huh? It's a red. Red dog. Huh? No, I just want to see. 28. Flipped one that big. Shark had his thing. Or a Jewy. We got a flap of meat hanging off on the backside. Look at that thing. This guy's been hurt. Yeah. I did a lot of it. <laughs> oh my god. This one's getting shut back with a shot off. Watch the rod. <laughs> That thing's like a zombie red. Look at that. Oh, zombie tied day with a zombie red. Gotta get a shot of that. Rome. Look at that. He's definitely seen better days. It's it shows better. you how tough these things are, yeah, though, man. Yep. Right. Unreal. Thank you guys for watching as always, but don't tune out. I got a couple of quick things I want to go over. Uh, one of them is going to be the mullet run rig that I actually have right behind me. I didn't talk about it at all in the video and I want to kind of go over that. But first I want to make a quick announcement. The shirts are still on sale, guys. I'm going to be going over some rebranding and the name of the company is going to change. It's not going to be Landshark Gear anymore. I haven't exactly decided on what I want to make it, but so all of the old merch that is on the website in the description box below, everything is on sale right now, guys. Get it while you can because there's only a couple hundred left and they are going to sell out quick so get some support the channel if you guys like now let's talk about the tackle use because I know a lot of you guys really appreciate that so what I got going on here is starting with the rod and reel a lot of people ask about the reels so this is a van stall VSX 250 it holds a lot of line I fish 40 pound bull buster braid and by the way guys everything I'm listing right now is gonna be in the description box below because it makes it easier to find click directly on the link and you can find exactly what you need. So we got 40 pound bull buster braid and then this reel is perfect because I can fish it off the beach. It is completely sealed. It is extremely durable. And then Brooke actually fishes the silver one which you guys see in the videos on her rod. And this is actually a new nine foot custom I got built by a friend of mine. And I think it came out sick. I'm so happy with it. It's got a spider wrap right there. And so coming down to the actual rig itself. When we're fishing off the jetty, you're either gonna fish a flat line or bottom, depending on the conditions. So the conditions for us where we have to fish bottom, when it's really rough like that, generally want to fish bottom. And what we got going on here is either a two or three ounce egg sinker tied on some top shot. You can put it right onto your braid or you can do a top shot like I do. And then you have a swivel right there, like a hundred pound swivel, which is gonna stop it. 
And then you only need about two to three feet, no more than three feet of leader. Now I like to fish 60 pound leader because, and 60 pound fluorocarbon, because as you guys have seen me talk a lot on this channel, fluorocarbon isn't always worth the money, but when you're fishing for things like redfish, snook and tarpon, which have abrasive mouths, and when, especially when you're dealing around structure, piers, jetties, you want that little bit of extra abrasion resistance and it will save you a lot of the time. So I fish 60 pound bull buster fluorocarbon. And like I said, guys, everything is in the description box below. And a good thing for you guys is you guys can save 10% on every bull buster product, which I fish a lot of them in the description box below. My code is Landshark and that deal goes on forever. So go ahead and check that out. And then we come down to a hook. This is a Mustad Ultra Point live bait hook. This is the hook that I'm most confident in when it comes to fishing live bait. This one right here is a 6-0. So when we're fishing the big hog legs, like the eight inch hog leg mullet, the silvers, I like to fish a 6-0 to 8-0 depending on the size of the bait. And I'll drop down all the way to a 3 or a 4-0 for the fingers and those little bit above average mullet. And so like, you know, you guys always ask me, what size hook, what size this? It always comes down to the size of your bait. Always, always, always. So always match the hook to the size of your bait. I will link those hooks in the description box below. They're relatively cheap. They don't corrode a lot and I've had a lot of success with them. So yeah, I hope that little tidbit of tackle helped you guys. Look forward to more mullet run videos, Sebastian Inlet videos, and just a lot of things to come to the channel. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video.